Thanks to everyone who watched my first vlog. This is kind of my second, but it's something a bit different. It's a special for Halloween. It's the story of something that happened to me that I can't explain. I'm not gonna say it's a ghost. I don't believe in ghosts, but something happened and I can't explain what it was. So this story happened 14 years ago. I was in Romania, um, getting ready for my wedding to my wife. It happened the day before our wedding. Um, we'd gone out there a week before. Um, some friends and family had come with us. And what we'd done was we'd done a little tour around parts of Romania. And we ended up the day before, or two days before the wedding, in a place called Sigishwara, which is a picturesque town, only about an hour away from where the wedding was being held. And part of the town is on top of a hill, and it's still kept almost like a medieval town. It's, it's really beautiful, kind of stone cobbled streets. People do live there, but it's very much a tourist destination, a really pretty town. So we were there a couple of days before, and it was a Thursday night when we arrived. And some of my good friends came um, and we were out drinking that night. We drank quite a bit that night actually. I spent some time in the bathroom taking a really weird photo of myself. Um, then the next day my wife or my, uh, who was about to become my wife, Carmen, took everyone to Turgamorish on a bus. I had to wait behind because some of the guests were arriving that evening at Sigishwara Rail Station and I was picking them up and taking them to Turgamorish. So in the morning I didn't really have anything to do. Everyone had disappeared. Um, the only person that stayed with me was a friend of mine called Nick who um, had a bit of flu, wasn't feeling too great, maybe after the drinking the night before. And he's actually paid to stay in his room for uh, another, an extra few hours. So I thought, I'll just go off for a wander around this, this pretty medieval town. It, was, um, it wasn't a very nice day, um, it was in June but it was, it was wet, very cloudy um, and, and so no one was really about, there weren't really any tourists around, it was very very quiet on those streets and I decided that what I'd do is I would take some photos, try and take some arty photos of this beautiful place. I got to the back of the town and was taking pictures around a church there. I did take a nice one and then for some reason I remember I was taking a picture of a drain pipe. I was trying to do something clever. As I was lining up the shop, I suddenly heard loud footsteps. They weren't um, walking footsteps, they were running footsteps, like someone was running quite fast. Coming from behind me, from a street just behind me to my left. And it was, that was odd in itself because it's a sleepy town, people are there because they're tourists. People just walk quite slowly around, people don't run anywhere there. But these were big, loud, running footsteps. I turn round, and as I turn round, because the footsteps were getting closer, somebody came absolutely careering down the street behind me. They were running so fast that as they turned, they wanted to turn right and to run away from me, they, they sort of hung out crazily and sort of hopped on their left foot three or four times because, because they couldn't get any purchase on the wet cobbles. And it was my friend Nick. Stand it. I just sort of watched him kind of sprint off away from me and I shouted, Nick! 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 He didn't stop. He, he, he really he looked like he was running for his life. You, I expected 
someone to be following him with a knife or a gun. That's how fast he was running. I almost in terror. So I, I, I followed him. I, 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 he, he disappeared off round a corner. And I got to the corner and I looked round the corner. And there was nobody there. street was completely empty. There was no Nick, there were no other people, there were no doors closing, it was a straight road. There just didn't seem to be any way that he could have got away from me. There didn't seem to be anywhere that he could have gone. It was a dead straight road, and there was nobody. I got back to the hotel, and I went up to his room and knocked on his door. And it took a while for him to answer. I think I had to knock two or three times. Finally he answered the door, and it was pitch black inside. And he had the look of someone who's just woken up. I mean, I, I woke him up by knocking. I said, were you just outside? I, I thought I saw you outside running. And he said, no, I've been asleep all morning. I don't know who I saw. And I don't know where they went. All I know is it's an old town with a lot of history. And I saw someone who looked exactly like my friend. And they vanished. 